Hey, this is Carrie with Becky Higgins, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna focus on the adjustments that you can make to a page layout in the Project Life app. To get started, let's tap on the upper right quadrant, it's teal, and this will open your page design. By default, the app will always open to design A with a white background and rounded corners, but you can easily make adjustments to all of those features with a few simple taps. In the upper left corner, you'll notice an icon that looks like a box. Go ahead and tap on that, and it will pull up two different um, selection bars. Along the top, you'll see colors, and on the far right, you'll see a little icon that right now shows rounded corners. And in the bottom, you'll notice a multitude of layout designs to choose from. Starting on the bottom, you'll see that you have all the different layout designs to choose from. Just slowly drag across. Some of these are ones that I have purchased. Others come free with the app. You actually have 11 different templates that come free with the purchase of the app. And then we have a lot of other packs that you can buy in addition. In order to purchase additional layouts, just continue to drag to the right and you'll see additional layouts for purchase. Just tap on the package and it will show you exactly what's included for the 99 cents. You can either buy it now or tap on maybe later and go back and purchase that at another time. But in order to select a different layout than Design A, all you do is tap along the bottom, tap, tap, and it automatically populates the pockets to be the size and the orientation that is intended with the layout design. Now, corners. We know that a lot of people like rounded corners, but some prefer square, and so we've made that one simple tap in order to change that. So along the top row, on the far right corner, you'll notice that right now there's a little box that has rounded corners. If you tap on that, it automatically turns them to square corners. Now on the Android version of the app, you will notice that icon is a little bit different. It's got some dotted lines on it, but it's in the same exact spot and it does the same exact thing and that is changing round corners to square and square corners to round with one simple tap. Now the colors along the top. The cool thing about the colors is that it allows you to adjust the background color of your page really simply. Now, starting from the far right towards the left, you'll notice that there's tans, browns, grays, black, and white. Those are default colors, and those are always available regardless of what kit you are using in the app. So no matter what color scheme you're working with, the tan, brown, grays, and blacks, and whites are always gonna be options for you. Default is white, but you can easily change it to any of the other colors along the top just by simply tap, tap, tapping the color. Now, if you are working with a specific collection, we have done some of the work for you, and that is we've chosen color palettes that coordinate perfectly with all the different additions that are in the app. To access those color palettes, all you need to do is tap on the three lines on the far left side of the colors. Now on the Android version of the app, that actually is a little color palette. It looks like a little paint palette icon. They both do the same thing. Go ahead and tap on that and it will pull up all the different kits that you own in the app and those that are available. So under my kits, those are the collections that you actually own at this point. And when you scroll to the bottom where it says more kits, that shows all of the other collections that are available. In order to choose a collection that you don't own, if you tap on that, it will give you the option again to buy the kit now or hold off until later. If you choose a collection that you already own, what you would do is tap on that, and then when you come back to the main page, all of the colors to the left of the white on the color palette are colors that are specifically chosen to go with that edition of cards. Once you've chosen your layout design, your background color, and the type of corners that you want, you can go ahead and start adding photos and cards to your page just by simply tapping on the pockets and then choosing what it is that you'd like to add. Because you chose the Everyday Edition as your color palette, it will automatically populate those cards as your selection. Go ahead and add a photo. And there we go. The basics of a page coming together. Now let's say that you completed a page that's in your library, but you wanna make some of these same adjustments to that page. You can do that. Simply go back to the home screen, open up your library, 
and you'll see that all of your completed pages are right here. Tap on the completed page and then go right back to that top left corner and you can start making those adjustments. So this one again was done with the everyday edition. So I'm gonna select that kit and then I can choose the background colors. I can choose the corners, rounded or squared. And I can choose a different layout design along the bottom. Now one thing to remember when you choose a different layout design, chances are that the orientation and the size of the pockets is going to be different than what you originally started with. The app will intuitively ad make adjustments for you by rotating cards and rotating photos and adjusting your text, but it's not always going to look perfect when you shift it. For example, if you go from design A to design D, you're taking horizontal 4x6 positions and turning them into verticals. Now some of those are going to look just fine and you might be able to just tap and move your photos over a little bit. Some of the cards are going to rotate differently. You can, in a lot of cases, take those, tap on the card, and you will see then that there's a little rotation icon right here. And you would just tap on that until it rotates to the right position. Now, for our Android users, with the app being newer, this feature is not implemented into the app just yet. So depending on when you're watching this video, you may or may not have the ability to rotate cards at this point. If you are unable to right now, please know that that feature is coming in the future and we have full plans to implement the ability for you to rotate cards and photos. Okay, so if we wanna go back to the way that it was, again, simply tap in the upper left corner, you can choose design A again. Now this may, again, we've already rotated this card. So one thing we could do is go back and rotate it or on the lower left corner, you'll see a little arrow. If you tap on that, it will turn things back and these are undo and redo buttons. So continue to tap the undo button until you start to see things the way that you intended them to be. This is how our layout started after we had changed the background color and now it is back to normal. So hopefully these tips on adjusting your layout design are helpful to you and they will make it easy for you to make the necessary changes that you desire in the Project Life app. Thanks for watching.